if you're an avid bird watcher, it helps to be good at climbing trees. <whistles> and to have a friend who's good at getting birds' attention. <laughs> nice shot. You're getting quite the collection of bird photos, George. <gasps> Different birds talk to each other by making different sounds. Easy for birds, not so easy for us. But luckily, there are bird calls that do the work for you. See? The pictures on the side tell you which bird you're calling. Try one. George had photos of robins and warblers, but he really wanted a picture of an osprey. Nice job! Only ospreys are harder to find. I've never seen one myself. Huh. Ospreys usually live near the ocean or big lakes where they can find more fish to eat. But if you're lucky, someday you might see one. <laughs> popcorn! Fresh popcorn! It's Mr. Popper in his popcorn wagon. Woo! <laughs> George, see any good birds today? <laughs> You'll have to show me your photos. Popcorn and a lemonade? You betcha. Oh, want to help me make a new batch? <laughs> George loved helping Mr. Popper. He leveled off one cup of popcorn, poured it into the machine, and then... I know! It started all by itself! Mr. Popper always served the popcorn the same way. First, he grabbed a cup and a bag. Second, he pressed the button for the lemonade. Third, he scooped in the popcorn and tapped the bag. And he always served his customers with a smile. Oops. <laughs> I like to keep things tidy. Now, let's see those photos. My goodness! Did you see a yellow-throated warbler today? Mm-hmm. We sure did. He flew off that way. I wish I could have seen him. <laughs> You'd run my wagon for me? <laughs> sure. George can run the wagon, and I'll show you where we saw the warbler. Oh, goody! My nephew wears this when he helps me. <laughs> Perfect fit! Shouldn't have many customers. It's a slow day. And just like that, a monkey was in charge of a popcorn wagon. Excuse me, I'd like a popcorn and lemonade, please. It was his first customer. Make that customers. George's slow day had suddenly gotten very busy. He tried to remember all the steps. But he got off to a rocky start. of the order was all wrong. Hmm. And Bill's decorations were already down. But not George's. Ooh. Ha! She's still got some life in her. 
Uh, sort of. <laughs> oh, hey, I almost forgot the erector set. Ready to tackle the 1889 Paris exhibition? <laughs> hmm, sounds like a big project. What do you say we set it up in the attic where there's more room? Uh -huh. uh, hang in there, George. I'm just getting it started for you. Then she's all yours. It had been too cold to climb with Jumpy Squirrel. Or run with Dotty Deer. Or waddle with Dumpling Duck. George missed his animal friends. Since it was too cold for George to play outside, maybe his friends could come inside for a sleepover. Oh, uh, let's see here. Um, are these sleeping bags? <laughs> okay, so you want to have a sleepover with your friends? Yeah! <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> oh, and when you talk to Allie and Bill and whoever that other person is, See if one of them is good with erector sets. If you're having a sleepover, you'll need snacks, fun party games, and cozy sleeping bags. Now all George needed were guests. Jumpy didn't like being startled. Whatever the monkey wanted, it had better be good. <coughs> Who was Jumpy to say no to free nuts? Dottie wondered where Jumpy had gone. If it was good enough for the squirrel and the deer, Dumpling wanted in too. <laughs> Maybe they'd like to play a game. Dumpling knew what to do with eggs. Fortunately, George had extra game pieces. <laughs> Jumpy thought they were nuts. And Dottie thought the dice were sugar cubes. Maybe they should just go to bed. Was this their first sleepover? George would have to show them how sleeping bags worked. George and the man with the yellow hat had been invited by Mr. Quint to go ice fishing. George thought he should practice. The trouble was, yeah. 
the ice weren't biting. Hey, George. What happened to all our... George, you do realize that ice fishing doesn't mean fishing for ice. <laughs> Mr. Quint will show you. Better go pack a coat, hat, and mittens. It's going to be cold up north. Mr. Quint, we're here. Well, hello, you two. Come on in. Thanks for the invitation. I have always wanted to try ice fishing. Woo! <laughs> well, to get where the fish are, you have to drill a hole, George. Oh. <laughs> George doesn't believe that fish can live in the ice. See down there? The fish are in the water. Under the ice. <laughs> no, George. It takes an expert fisherman, <clears throat> like me, to catch them. They don't just jump up and say hello. <laughs> Oh, my goodness! Ah. Maybe they do jump up and say hello. Ah. <laughs> it was George's old friends, Professors Einstein and Pizza. You look a lot like our pal George. Why, it is George. What brings you up here, fellas? We're here on an important mission. But we're having trouble with our sub. Someone spilled his juice box on the control panel. Someone drives like this. Whee! Whee! At any rate, it appears that we'll have to scrap the mission. Wait a minute, Einstein. George is here. <gasps> the the mini sub. George, how would you like to do some whale counting for us? <laughs> um, that sounds like yes to me. The, the mission, mission is saved. saved. Okay, hey, George, in you go. You remember how to use all the controls? Thanks, Mr. Quint. George, this time of year, several species of whales are swimming to their winter homes. We're trying to track them as they migrate. Your mission is to count the whales you see going by. <laughs> now, see the screen on your dashboard? Uh -huh. That shows the different kinds of whales you might encounter. Ah. Beluga whales are white, bowhead whales are dark, and narwhals have long tusks. Woo! <laughs> now, George, whales aren't fish. They come up to the surface of the water to breathe air. Some of them also swim really deep, so you'll have to look up and down. When you see one of these whales, just touch the picture on the screen that matches it, and the computer will count it. <laughs> okay, George. Here we go! It 
It was autumn in the country. Leaves were falling. And so were acorns. Jumpy had stashed away plenty for winter. But there was always room for more. Jumpy's acorn stash was gone. He had just hidden those nuts. Whoever had taken them couldn't have gone far. He just had to find someone eating. The monkey! George, come back and finish lunch. <laughs> the monkey was eating Jumpy's nuts for lunch? Jumpy had to get his acorns back. He would watch that monkey like a hawk. And his friend got into the car and went home. Good night, George. <laughs> oh, no. You can play with Jumpy tomorrow. Jumpy so grumpy about. He liked nuts. Maybe if George gave him a nut, he'd feel better. Jumpy couldn't believe it. The monkey was stealing acorns right under his nose. saved more nuts than that by fall. Someone might have taken them. <laughs> and Jumpy seemed to think that someone was George. <laughs> if someone had taken those nuts, it was up to George to find out who. Those be Jumpy's nuts? Hiya, George. Want a piece of pie? Fresh out of the oven. Huh? But how could Mrs. Rankins have gotten up Jumpy's tree? possible. <laughs> there had been a storm last night. Maybe the wind blew so hard, the nuts rolled out of the tree. And Mrs. Rankins found them. George had to tell Jumpy. He would see it was all a big mistake. Jumpy could see there was a mistake, all right. His nuts were acorns. And those nuts were pecans. Jumpy was right. Mrs. Rankin's nuts were different. George loved visiting the Maldives mostly because of Uncle Hassan. 
And now breathe calmly in and out. Whose morning ritual included yoga. No. Oh. He made them traditional Maldivian food. Not too spicy, I hope. <laughs> just like your mom used to make. And just when George thought it couldn't get any better, it did. Snorkeling? Oh, that's a great idea. And of course you can use my boat. You'll love it. The coral reef is the home of so many different kinds of fish. There are glassfish, parrotfish, butterflyfish, and surgeonfish. Oh, George, you ready to go snorkeling? Take a trip, see somewhere new. Learn about what others like to do There's different words and different ways At every turn you'll be amazed So head on out There's so much to see A million things to spark your curiosity There's something there So, the simplest route is to go around this bit of land. George wanted to bring his ball, but was there an extra seat? Yes, George? Sure, you can put the ball in there. Seems easy enough. Ready to get going, George? Ah! All right, off we go. Bye, happy snorkeling. See you later. Ah! Huh, that person must be expecting a big emergency. Here, George, I'll steer while you navigate. <laughs> we want to keep going east. Keep the E pointed toward the front of the boat and make sure the red arrow is pointed toward the end. If the red arrow moves away from the end, let me know. <laughs> 